Welcome to my few still on difficult season. In the last episode, I spoke on work and wisdom, and I said difficult season, emotion runs high, and sentiment is closer than you think, which makes it difficult to make some decision, but working in wisdom will save you from unnecessary labor. And so, by the way, if you are yet to subscribe to our podcast, uh, please do so. Subscribe to our podcast, keep listening to them, and share with others. So, this is episode four, and I'm going to be speaking on difficult season. But today, I'm going to be focusing on you can only find peace in God. Today, I'd like to tell you that in difficult season, You can only find peace in God. This is why it is crucial for you to know God for yourself before the arrival of difficult season. Not just knowing God for yourself, but to have a relationship with Him. Let me start today by asking you, where is your peace and where do you find peace? Perhaps you are devoid of peace or you are in search for peace. And maybe you equate peace with happiness. World peace is only temporary since peace in our world is the absence of conflict. Today I'm talking about lasting peace and that peace can only be found in God. I'm talking about peace that cannot be purchased Peace that is given freely by God? Happiness in this world is for a short period of time. There is nothing like lasting happiness. You can buy happiness, but lasting peace can only come from God. In difficult season, peace of God is the only thing that exceeds all understanding. If you want to have assurance about the future, if you are stressed and hopeless, if you feel depressed and struggle with life, then you need this peace that I'm talking about. Peace from God. You cannot live a life without vision and expect that you will reach your potential. You cannot live a visionless life and expect to reach your destination. When you are devoid of peace of God, life becomes a thing of struggle and your vision could become blurry. The assurance that you get from the, this peace of God that I'm talking about will continue to give you clarity regardless of what nature brings your way. In our world today, People search and struggle for peace while they push aside the author of peace. To every challenged person today, to everyone that are in situation, that are in difficult position, that are in difficult season, you name the peace of God. See, to every challenge and difficult season in life, there is a way out of them. And you can only find that way in God. Whatever your circumstances are in life, whom you believe matters. And what you believe matters. Because difficult season will expose you and God is the only one who can protect you. Today I'm speaking about the peace that is given as a gift from God. It is God who can give this peace. You cannot purchase it from the store or from the market. Neither can anyone give it to you except God. Perhaps you are wondering why things are difficult. And you are asking how you can get out of your difficult season. One thing you have to understand is that difficult seasons are not meant to last. That is why the Bible says there is a time and season for everything under the heaven. However, difficult seasons are necessary for every one of us. Difficult seasons are necessary for you and I 
to help sharpen and get us ready for the greatness to come. This is why you should not give up in difficult season, for thereafter, you will see the green light. Difficult season are meant to prepare you for the glory to come. All things work together for good to them that love God. Romans 8, 28 Finally, are you oppressed? Are you depressed or hated? Firstly, accused and condemned. Don't allow anyone who did not create you to downgrade you. Don't let anyone push you away. Don't let anyone push you down. Reevaluate your life and make necessary adjustment. If you trust God for peace, you will have lasting peace. So share this message with somebody. Subscribe to this podcast and continue to listen. Stay blessed and stay well. Until next time, my name is Solomon Oluabi. Thank you. And that is my view.